Hey everybody, we are back in Skyrim Special Edition, and here we are back in Falskarl. <clears throat> so, I did some stuff off camera, mainly trading to this young lady right here. And hold on, I just want you to just listen to her voice. What's a handsome man like you doing in Undercreek? Isn't that awesome? Like she has like this like super high pitched voice. I don't know, it's just nice to see, like, different voices after, like, all the, like, voices in regular Skyrim just start to sound the same after a while. So it's nice to hear, like, a distinct new voice, if that makes any sense. Well, we have Il Ilya here. One of these days I'm going to remember your name properly. Alright, Ilya. Let's see. So, not much has changed, as you can see. However, I did buy two magical items. I bought a Necklace of the Night, which increases my heavy armor by 15 points, and a Ring of Health for 30 points of extra health. So I spent a few thousand gold on that. And now, I believe we are ready to head over to that cave, find those necromancers, find that magic crystal, and uh, see if we can't put an end to that. All right. <clears throat> already got that waypoint up. Agnar says if I'm going to make a good king, I'll need a strong lady by my side. I was thinking of Varna. Ha! Huh. A kid that isn't an asshole. Wonder who Varna is. All right, well, we'll have to check that out. Nice. We'll have to check that out later. All right. And here we go back across this lovely bridge. We're gonna be headed over to the northeast. Look at that. Look at that. Now we could go into that mine, but I'm a man with a mission right now. We're gonna ignore that for now and head up to this cave. There's a hut up here. You know how much I like huts. So I guess we'll make a pit stop there, see what's there. I don't know what's around. Should be interesting though. Ilya is still following us. Let's pull out our weapons. Haven't been attacked immediately when stepping into the forest, so I'm a little bit on guard. Okay. So here we have in the distance our hut. There's either a hunter or a bandit there, so let's get our sword out. Are you bandits or hunters? Hunters? I think they're hunters. Good morning. Oh, they're named people. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have any meat, do you? <laughs> Just kidding. Unless you do. <laughs> All right. Let's talk to these guys. What, what are these guys doing? Vault, are you a hunter? If not, you should try it. Practice okay, they are. They are hunters. Outsmarting you, closing in that bar. Dinner is served. Our whole. How long have you two lived out here? We were born and raised here. As were our parents before us, their parents before them. Great grandparents were the last ones to be raised at Hurganar Manor. <laughs> I can't imagine how different their lives were from ours. So are you like ex nobles or something? In the war a hundred years ago, an Unvalder raiding party sacked it, destroying much of what our family owned. They All rebuilt right. most of it, but then they decided it was no good. They moved out here and built this cabin. The family has lived here since. <laughs> All right. Where's your wives and children? Are they gay? We certainly tried, but neither of us managed to find someone here. Ulgar was sweet on a girl once. Mm, maybe not. But then she turned out to be a bandit kingpin, and we had to kill her. <laughs> okay. Eh, he's a lighthearted. He got over it. Plus, 
collapsing an entire bandit warband from the inside was great fun for him. <laughs> I've had my share of princes, but I haven't found the right one yet. Do not worry for us. Jorgenar blood is strong. It will live on. If you say so. What's with you, my friend? Have safe travels. All right, let's leave these guys here. Well, maybe we'll talk to you, Thor. Greetings, friend. Ah, he's got nothing to say. Yes. All right. We've got the cave on the map now. Get this wide open plains. Well, I mean, I guess we're in a little bit of a forest right now, but I mean, it's like it's very flat as compared to Skyrim. Are we still in Skyrim? I guess we are, because like there's a Jarl, that's like a Skyrim thing. So I guess this is still technically Skyrim. All right. So there should be a cow around here somewhere. Getting close. All right, there's the cave. Don't see a cow. Let's move them now. Oh, that's Skeever. Didn't see that either. See if these things sneak up on me. Cow. Cow. Well, I. Do you see a cow, Ilya? Anywhere? I do not. Well, this looks hey, like a. Look, a cave. Wonder what's inside. I'm pretty sure it's that crystal and necromancers. But uh, let's find out for sure. Not really sure where that cow went. Necromancer. Wonderful. Oh, uh, there's another one. Well, let's get him. That's one down. And that is two down. Got him. And we'll strip them naked. have a little bit of a look around. Make sure I thought that was a coin purse. It's actually just a bloody skull. <laughs> Ew. Does that look like an archway to you? Can I pull this torch? This looks like an archway. Can I open this? Hmm. Maybe not. But you, you do see that. I'm not crazy, like, right? Like, this is distinctly an archway. Maybe it's just like an alcove. All right. I've got a bad feeling about this. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, something up here. It's the cow. It's the cow. Crazy necromancers. And dead. And is there another one? Got him. Is there another one? I think there's another one. Oh no, that was just our friend. That was just Ilya. I 
I just got a book of Conjure Familiar. I learned that as well, why not? Since we're uh, doing conjuration, we might as well get a familiar with us. Why not? Um, can I? Okay, here we go. Um, let's just. Yeah. No, no, oh dear. No, no, no. No, this is... that's not what I wanted to do! Uh, that's... that's... guys, I... D <sighs> do I want to reload this? Well, how was I supposed to get the cow to go? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna reload this. I'm gonna reload this. Yeah. I wanna I wanna see how to do this properly. All right. So right over here, I kill this guy, and right over here, I kill this guy. Yeah, sorry about that. I don't really like to save scum like that, but this is my first time playing this, so I am kind of interested in seeing like the correct way to do it. So let's just collect these things again. I'm not going to get that wolf again, am I? The loot is probably randomized. That's sad. Not going to get that wolf. That's all right. Oh dear. Let's just quickly kill this guy. Yeah, kill this lady. And oh, great. They brought friends. A lot of friends. Well, this is not quite as going. Not quite going as well as it did last time. Oh dear. Well, there we go. There we go. Let's see if any of those have the wolf book on them. I don't think so. I think that's randomized loot, so... I don't think I'm going to get that back again, which is sad. But that's alright. We can figure out how to. Oh! Oh no! It is here. Huh? Okay. I thought it was randomized. Well, great. Let's save. How do I get this cow going? It said. I think I need to. I think I do need to punch it, but they will just kill it if I punch it. Hmm. Hmm. How? Is there like a cow prod around here? <sighs> cow! Go home! Oh, I just, I just hit E on the cow. The cow won't budge. Something is really making it want to stay here. Is it all the hay? Scared? 
Alright, you know what? Let's get the... Let's get the cow on the way out. Now let's just, uh... Learn these two things again. Magic. Conjuration. Conjure familiar. Let's get our familiar out. And I think we'll be doing that more, so let's... Get that on favorite. Now let's go see what's in here. Should be a crystal. Or something like that. Let's loot this first. <laughs> I guess we just grab this. All right. Well, that's one crystal fragment. I was totally right. There is absolutely a crystal fragment in here. Are there any more necromancers? It doesn't look like it. It looks like this is the end of the cave. Some wonderful lighting effects going on there. Whoa. Oh, it's just, the, it's just the wolf dying. Is this going to be... Oh, uh, I think this is going to lead right out to that little door I found. Is it? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I was totally right. I told you guys that was a door. All right, well, let's go see if we can't prod that cow in the right direction. Maybe now that that mysterious force is gone, the cow will be willing to leave. There we go. It, you saw it. It said it was going to start doing it. It's don't it, don't worry, guys. It's it's walking home. It's totally walking home. We can just uh, head out of here now. I mean, that, that secret door really wasn't that necessary. It was right here. In any case, we can now head home. This is what we're going to, right? Yeah. Let's go. Again, I could walk all the way back, but <laughs> fast travel. And there you go. The crystal was attacking your, attracting your cow. I've dealt with it. Your cow is inbound. It's coming back to you. Grand. I'm glad this won't be happening anymore. I can't thank you enough. Here, no problem. As promised, some of the finely spiced meat from my cafe, free of charge. Alondra can go. In addition, if you'd like any more, I'd be happy to sell it to you at a discounted price. All right. Now, what does that beep do? Restores 50 points of health, restores one point of health for 900 seconds, restores one. Wow. That's pretty good. That's pretty amazing, actually. Um, I'd like to buy some of your beef. Yes, I'll take all of those. Thank you. Safe travels. Those are wonderful. All right, Ilya. So, well, that's that's good for now. I think it's time to return to the Jarl. And if I'm remembering correctly, that's just right around this corner. So we don't need to worry about fast traveling. We can just run back over there. And enjoy this beautiful sky. Ooh, look at that orange. That is nice. You know what? The special edition, the special edition is nicer, you know? Look at that. Oh my goodness. So orange. That's lovely. 
And like the bark on the trees look better. Like I, I can see the difference now. Like at, at first I wasn't able to really see the difference, but you know, it, it, there, it's like the fine details are just nicer. It is very subtle, but you can definitely tell the difference. All right, now let's go tell the Jarl about the fact that those uh, priest guys... Hey, mister. Hi. See, this is a nice kid. This kid is an asshole, like the ones in White Run. This guy is all right. But yeah, let's go... Oh, there's the innkeeping. You know what? The innkeeping lady said to like meet her at the tavern later. Is that where she's going? Is this a tavern right here? By the divines. Mekaias, is that you? I was being held in Brittle Run Cave. But the guard and someone else found me and got me out. Well, by all means, go inside. Have a drink and get some rest. Yep, she is going Actually, inside. I think I'd like to stay out here and do some work with you. <laughs> that guy finally made it back. Of course. Grab a hammer. It's great to have you back. What's a handsome man like you doing in Amber Creek? Do you need any help? Actually, yes. A man recently came to town and he spoke of treasure. The thing is, what he's looking for belongs to my family. When this town was found, the blacksmith took the first chunk of amber that was extracted and made it into a large ring for my family. Recently, however, we had to sell the ring. If it's just lying somewhere abandoned, I would like it back. You can ask the man staying at the Amber Mead Inn, Harold. But please, if you find it, bring it back to me. All right. Do you know where the ring is? If I had any idea, I would have searched for it long ago. The merchant Vessel carrying it, sunk in a terrible storm. Hmm. Anything else you want to ask? I'll share anything that might help you find the ring. Why did your family have a giant it ring of amber? It was the first of the amber ore that was extracted from the river when the town was founded. The blacksmith took it and in honor of the town's success, crafted my family a great suit of armor with the ring attached to the Great back. suit of armor, you say? Anything else you want to ask? I'll share anything that might help you find the ring. What armor? Had been worn by my family in every battle we have ever fought in. It broke my father's heart when we had to sell the ring for it. It's not only a symbol of our family, but of our entire town. It would be great to have it back. Anything else you want to ask? I'll share anything that might help you find the ring. Yes, you said that, dear. Yeah, when was the ring sold and it why? Was 15 years ago. I was a young girl then. I remember that day, Amber Creek was having a hard time getting by. A merchant came through with a great wealth to spend. My father saw an opportunity and decided to sell the ring. He didn't want to, but he had no choice. He gave everyone in town some of that money and kept us all out of truly dark times. <laughs> anything else you want to ask? I'll share anything that might help you find the ring. No, I think that's mm. it. But let's go inside the Amber Meat Inn. Oh, right at the front. Yes, it's very good. What's a handsome man like One you doing in Amber like Creek? Land of Skyrim. You there really think so? Thanks, Dad. Is to save the land and its Here's that kid. This is the fable of yeah, the this is the boy. kid that the boy wants Hello. to marry. I help Clara with the cooking. She's teaching me all sorts of things, and I'm getting better and better. Aww. Bye. I tell Young you love. The dragon bird. Thank you again for helping me out of that cave. Who knows what would have happened to me otherwise? Yeah, the dude, no problem. Wielding power of the ancient Orgon. If you need anything, just let me or Rangar know. Like to hear a song? I think it said on the page that there's like 
unique what can I songs. The heart of the gods. What's that? Ah, the tale of the great Olaf Vordalbo and his heroic act to save the Nords. That's a song I'd be happy to play. Do you need something? What can I help you with? You gonna play? You going to this chair? Oh. It. That. No. He's. He's. He's given up. Yes? Well, maybe he'll sing for us some other time. What do you want? Hey. I want to be a big, strong warrior, just like Olgar. <laughs> you ever seen a dragon, kid? <laughs> a dragon? No. But if I ever do, I'll fight him and show him how tough I am. I wish they were real. That'd be so cool. Bye, mister. Hmm. So there's no dragons on this island. Interesting. I guess that means there's no dragon burial grounds. Am I supposed to talk to someone in here? Greetings. Or is it just oh it's this guy. What did Brother Dorlo have to say? Oh, it's the Jarl. <laughs> He's just sitting in the end. <laughs> yeah, the monks are useless. <laughs> Instigates war. He sent men to kidnap and interrogate one of our people, and he blankets the land with his mercenaries. Is that not a declaration of war? Very well. We shall work without their help. For now. Yeah, you don't matter. I need you to do something else for me. Bandits have overrun the docks and have got off trade with Skyrim. No, oh, well, I can get home that way then. Go to the docks and kill all the bandits. <coughs> then talk to Henry. He runs the trade store there. Ask him if he learned anything helpful while the bandits were there. Yeah. Okay. You know, you really shouldn't be too eager about a civil war here. I've seen another civil war. It doesn't turn out well. What is it? I made this. These are for my land of this grim state. What can I help you with? Turned at last to what? the you need anything. Told his just noble let me or Angar know. This, this guy just gave me two steel daggers. Undead flee and shocks. Aelia. I've got a gift for you. What do you want me to carry? Here. Have a. Have two daggers. There you go. You lead, I'll follow. Do you need something? Just admiring the singing. Man. Get a drink and take a seat. You'll have a good time for sure. That's all right. What do you want? Oh, I can buy a house here. Get the lay off the meat. Bounty ledger. Um, trying to click on this. Okay, well, she she doesn't want to talk with me. That's all right. Let's get out of the sand. Okay, now if I'm speak with Henrik, was that the guy at the docks? No, Harold. Let's look at this one. Ask Wolf about the shipwreck. Ask Harold about the ring. Are they in here? Okay, we're we're almost done. But let's just see if there's anything else I can do with this. Can I help you? Yeah. Yes. Harold. Greetings. What do you know about the Amber Ring? That I need it, and it was in a ship that sunk. If only I knew where that ship was. I've All got right. some questions. I'll answer as best I can. Mm -hmm. 
What do you know about it? Just him? that it was sold to a merchant many years ago and then lost. Ask Wolf at the docks. He may tell you something useful. And please, if you find it, bring it to me. Yeah, no, I think I'm going to give it to that pretty lady. I have drinking to get back to. Sorry, man. I'm a sucker for the pretty ladies. Have you seen the lady I'm traveling with? Yeah. I used to live in Helgen with my wife and kids before oh. it was destroyed. Everything we own is gone. Save yeah. the clothes on our backs. We tried living out of the yeah. woods, but I could barely catch enough for us to eat. I'd heard rumors about this ring of amber. If it's really as big as they say, it will be worth a small fortune to the right people. I need that money to feed my family and rebuild what we once had. Anything else you'd like to know? I have drinking to get back to. Yeah, well, so if you're here, why does that kid not know about dragons? You just, just not going to mention that? Just not mentioning that? Yeah, you want to steal the ring for yourself? No. They sold the ring. It isn't theirs anymore. I'm not stealing it from anyone. I'm simply putting it to better use than sitting at the ocean floor somewhere rotting away. Anything else you'd like to know? I have drinking to get back to. Well, I'm going to go find that ring while you sit here and drink. And uh, I'll be doing with it what I please. Just please try to find it quickly. I must get back to my family. Yeah, good luck with that. You saved my life. For that, I must repay. Are you, are you giving me something else? Oh my goodness! This guy is just throwing things at me. I'm good, man. I'm I'm good. Oh, you tease! Leave me alone. All right. Uh, how far away is that? Um, let's. Okay, it's all the way over there. Okay, I think this is a good place to leave it then. We are going to. I'm just gonna catch that torch bug. Ilya. Oh, how do you sneak up on me so easily? God. All right. Yeah, pose for the camera, Ilya. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to leave it here for the day. Got a lot done. We went over to that cave, killed some necromancers, got that first shard. And next time, we're going to be heading over to the docks to see what's going on over there. That should be fun. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.